So in um, Hyrule Warriors, which came out on the Wii, I think it was on the Wii. Wii U. Wii U. Wii U. Hyrule Warriors. Ow. That game is is in this kind of vein. Mm -hmm. uh, you you know you pick a, a classic re they, so they take characters from all the different Zelda <sighs> series and they sort of like re envision them a little bit for the okay. game. <laughs> Stop it! Um, and they. Uh, Essentially, kind of do the same thing. Hey, there's portals to other places, and all these characters come through. Um, oh my god! Sounds very rem reminiscent of the storyline in Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the dark portal. Right? Yeah. yeah, but you're you're fighting against like, you know, Stalfoses and like other enemies from the Zelda Typical series. Typical Zelda like, universe stuff. Just like a ton of them. Yeah. Um, and then they also put in giant bosses. Yep. So like, there's like a giant. Um, Moldovas and uh, I'm kind of hoping they do uh, something like Dongos and things like that. But like these these guys here, they're all bad guys. They're all enemies. No, no, they're on your. Team. No, they're not. No. Oh, see, that's weird. They just don't give a fuck that I'm running through them. That's very weird. These guys too. I mean, looks like they're running around with monsters. snow shovels instead of axes. Yeah. Gonna go kill this dude. Oh. Ow. Special powers. Yeah. How do you get health back? Uh, uh, some monsters drop like vials of things you can just pick up. Yeah, and so in the Zelda game, in the Zelda Warriors, there was like a crafting system. Like enemies would and captains would drop crafting items, and you yep. can use those to level up your weapons and skills. That's here as well. That's here too. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes there's like oh, pots you can break. And you can pick up sake. items too. Nice. Yeah, there's there's breakable things, but they're yeah. very few and in between. Yeah. They went nuts with the See, DLC. I just picked up a green tea. They went nuts with the DLC on Hyrule oh, Warriors. So. There's like 10 different DLC packs, and each one adds in characters guys. and maps and quests from the other Zelda games that weren't in like the main game. <laughs> so eventually you get like, I don't know, like 25 different characters, <laughs> wow. it seems like. There are very few, or at least I feel like in, in most Warriors games, there are just a couple characters you play as. No, no, there's like there's like 30 normally. or like Compared to Fire Emblem? But That's you're only controlling few. one at a time, right? You're just yeah, one between. at a time, yeah. yeah. You can direct characters where to go, like, oh, take over this base or attack specifically this guy. You and that's tell them what to do. That's new in this game. Yeah. So what's the main difference between the characters that you can play as, like, in terms of their fighting style or abilities or what have you? Fire Emblem has, uh, what is it, the triangle? The weapon triangle? Yeah. Um... Uh, so lances are more powerful than swords. So you have a, a benefit if you if you have a lance equipped, you're better equipped with the lance to fight guys with swords. If you have a sword equipped, you're better equipped to fight guys with axes. If you have an axe equipped, you're better equipped to fight guys with lances. So it, rock paper scissors. It's rock paper scissors right. exactly. Um, but if if and it goes if it goes the other way around, if you have an axe, don't fight a guy with a sword. You're at a huge disadvantage. Right. And certain characters specialize in certain weapons, or, or there, there's magic users who, who wield tomes. Um, there are healers, so there are different classes. Once you get to a certain level, you can upgrade your class. Who's that? It's definitely not Marth. I'll give you that much information. Masky doohickey sword. Skip! I would say these kinds of games are really good to... They're like mindless fun. Yeah, they're absolutely uh, mindless. They fun. do not require a lot of like m mental thought or focus. Or focus. This is so like the type of game I play them... while I'm like watching a movie or something yes. on like Netflix. Yeah, exactly right. You put on a YouTube video or something on your phone. There are a couple maps you where focus. you are required to do special things, like you have to unlock a Anna, the shopkeep. You have to usually to get her unlocked in a level is to kill a thousand. Um, enemies. Wait, say that all again? So the character that's pretty frequent in Fire Emblem games, Anna, yeah. the shopkeep, yeah. she only appears after you kill a thousand enemies. Um, as an unlockable playable character? No, no, as like her shop opens for business. Oh. Oh my god, stop interrupting game. Um, and she doesn't have like weapons for sale, or at least not yet that I've seen. So what does she just sell? Equipment? She just has like a an item that you get, and it like uh, unlocks. You know, like on the 3DS, they have like the street pass where you collect parts of a jigsaw puzzle, and eventually you get all the parts, and it's like, oh, it's a full fucking picture. 
You know what I'm talking about? I follow you, yeah. So she basically has parts of a photo that you unlock. And when you... I don't know what all the pieces do once you combine them all, not that far into the game. It's not like when you find all the parts of the photo you get access to all of her parts? No. I don't think Nintendo would Why are you that. ruining my dreams, Rob? All right. Dreams are shitty. I just <laughs> want to have a nice anime fantasy without being ruined by reality. Am I done? Dynasty I done Warriors here? 8 has... Uh, Dynasty Warriors 9 has, uh, looks like, 83 playable characters. That's still a wow. lot fewer than Fire Emblem, I think. Jesus Christ. That seems like it would take a lot of time to research like oh, their play styles there. and figure out what, what works best. Yeah. I mean, they've just slowly like been... The more. thing is, though, like, every game they add in more and more, but it's always the same characters. Yeah. So, really, you're... If you know how everyone plays... We... I can't go through this invisible wall! We... I like the design on his cape. It's very flowy. Shiny. There's a lot of wind. And they got that classic Here's my Dynasty Warriors guitar riff going in the background. Yeah. Yeah, they always have some kind of, like, awesome rock playing in the background. Very guitar-centric rock. Uh, that's what I just did. Okay. Why so, see, like, right here, it's telling you what you're about to go into. Okay. But it also has, at the bottom, underneath the portraits, Anna's mementos. That means Anna's in here. Uh, and I think I can open up the... Oh, I can't. And what about Master Seal? What's that? Master, those are just like an awakening, or I think they had it in in Birthright too, where you can upgrade your class. Yeah. You know, if you go from a prince to a lord, but or like you, a mage to a cleric or something. But like there'll that. be an icon if you an icon got it, will, or if it's available in the stage. If to it's get. available in the stage, like I'm gonna probably get an memento in the stage as I enter it. There'll be a check mark on it as soon as I'm got done, it, got it, proving that you were able to successfully like get whatever right. credentials were there. So I've in addition to like Hyrule Warriors, right? Fire Emblem Warriors, there's um, Fist of the North Star Warriors, there's Gundam Warriors. They made a Warriors for everything you can yeah. think of almost. They started like, expanding the different Skip. series the last like, I don't know, like eight years or so. Hmm. Well, how, do they, how do they get away with using characters from like different... Um, like They license it. They license licensing. it, yeah. Um, basically, the, the premise that we just skipped over really quickly was uh, Frederick, typically... In typical Frederick fashion, doesn't trust the new people. Fucking dick. And Crom's like, but they're going to be our friends. We're going to make them part of our. <laughs> so right now, Crom's on my team with Lissa, and we're fighting Frederick. You're fighting him? Yeah, to gain yeah. his trust. I see. Because <laughs> that's how Frederick works. Yeah. That is always weird in um, the Warriors These games. Guys. Fighting I your want allies. The cast. One cool thing, actually, about um, the. Hyrule Warriors game is you get to play as like Ganon and a bunch of enemies and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. His robes. It's a they did a the lot heroes. of really good stuff that made it more interesting to play because you're not linked the whole yeah. fucking game. But the thing is, like sometimes you're also like fighting like skeletons and Stalfoses and things. Ugh! Stop interrupting game. Da -da 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 -da. I loved hearing that. Yeah. Well, when you're in the middle of trying to do a hack and slash. So there's a material, right? Yeah, I'm fighting Myrmidons right now. Myrmidian. Myrmidons. It means he's Merman. Man from the sea. Oh, they just exploded money. He was a cash basket. <laughs> You're not wrong. I like how they all line up to get murdered in like unison. Hey, they know welcome, what they signed up for. Welcome to Dynasty Warriors. Where the enemies don't attack except for the captains. And when, like, the one foot soldier decides to attack you, it's just like a pat on the back. Yeah, I feel yeah. like most of these enemies are, like, combat dummies 2.0. Yeah. They're, like, a couple levels below Stormtrooper. Yeah. We. I say so, because at least Stormtroopers will shoot at you. These guys just kind of circle you and stand there. Is this door open? That's something I'm actually interested in playing is uh, Battlefront 2's, like, single-player campaign. So I hear they're trying to flesh that out a little bit better. Hmm. Special moves! I haven't played a Star Wars based game since like Jedi Knight 2. Oh, wow. that was a long ass Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, or just Jedi Knight 2? Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, because the naming conventions of the Jedi Knight tr uh, trilogy started out as Dark Forces. Yeah. There were Jedi's in the game. Oh, right, Dark Forces. And then it was Dark Forces oh. 2. 
Jedi Knight. Oh, Jedi Knight. I know, I know. And then it was Jedi Knight 2, no Dark Forces in the name anymore. Jedi Outcast. Right. I played Jedi Knight 2 uh, on LAN PC. I was, oh doing a comp- I was doing a computer camp. What are you, 40? At, at um, <laughs> almost, God, 35. <laughs> um, you were alive doing... before the internet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was at computer camp at, um, <laughs> at um, Old Westbury. Nice. And they had a LAN PC room. And so we'd play StarCraft and we'd play Jedi Knight. The most, it was the coolest. The most... Uh, yeah. You were the coolest, definitely. No, no, no. It was the coolest. <laughs> the most current game I ever played in a computer lab was in junior high. We had, door is not door. We played the original Myst in a computer lab. Mm. Oh, I can play this list now. My, She's awesome. Our, our computer lab did not have CD-ROM drives or players. Really? I was in, I was in high school. Is the door open? Graduated in the oh, year 2000, mind you. And up until the end of that, we were on Apple IIEs. Wow. Still. I believe it. Apple IIEs. Yeah, we had those in grade school. Where am I school. supposed to go? You know, what's oh. interesting is we had those in grade school, and then in typing class in junior high, we had the old monochrome, like, like screen. Dot matrix. Dot, yeah, mm-hmm. dot matrix printing bullshit computers. Oh, stop it. And then in the computer lab, they upgraded to, like, I want to say Windows 90. Maybe it was 3.1. Cause, yeah, because I was in junior high in, like, nine, early 90s, so. And that was the first time they had, like, any kind of game support on an OS. Besides, they had, because I remember they had, like. Like, they finally realized that you could play games on a computer. Yeah, they had, like, Oregon Trail and, like, that Mathletes game or whatever it was yeah, called. Yeah, and, and, like, Number Muncher and things like that. Yeah. So, it's odd. In my elementary school, we used to, you know, we had also Apple IIEs, and we would play games on them. In high school, I'm we had trouble. the Apple IIEs. But we use them for programming. So I learned basic programming and Pascal on Apple IIEs in high school in like my like junior and senior years. And also uh, I did like some computer like architecture and art design stuff on those too. But it's crazy yeah. that that's, that's what we were using. I think there was another computer lab in the building that had a little bit more modern PCs, but like never used them. Well, those PCs, like we were talking... Had floppy drives that can only hold like 1.4 megs. Of yeah, data on yeah. The disc. And that was at the higher end. And then the successor to that was the zip drive, which could hold up to 100 megs. Woo! Whoa, no, I remember God. I had a zip drive. In We're college. never gonna need to upgrade our memory <laughs> yeah. ever yeah. again. And then CD burners came out. Yep. And then that was like that was like the exploit of the century because uh, you could burn anything that wasn't at that time yep. copyright DRM. Shit! I hope I'm going the right way. Rob is lost. Guess what? Not going the right way. Forgot which way to go. So I guess you gotta go where it's flashing.